Hey guys, everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and for today's video, I thought I would do a pencil cup tour. Now, this is my actually my downstairs pencil cup tour, and I wanted to give you a little rundown on the things I got in here, and what I use to write on a daily schedule, and this is my downstairs pencil tour, and if you want to see my upstairs um, art collection space tour, for the uh, pencil cup variety, um, I can do that video for you. You can just post that down in the comments below. Um, be sure to like the video as well. Um, anyway, uh, here are all the pencils and pens and things that I got in here. So we're going to do a little rundown. It's going to be pretty quick um, since there's a lot of stuff in here. But anyway, let's start. So starting off with a uh, a batch of pencils that I really do like and these are the Prismacolor Call Erase pencils um, now these I have a bunch of these and they have uh, soft lead and they also have erasers so if you need to erase them um, on the paper at any point so these are really good for doing like doing initial sketches or something like that. These are really nice for that. And second of all, these are from Dollar Tree. These are jumbo pencils that you can get at the back to school season at Dollar Tree. And these are pretty good too for like little kids. If you have a kid and they want to draw your art space or something, these are pretty good for that. Um, so they're giant uh, jumbo pencils. And this is not going to go in any particular order. I'm just going to show everything I got. So third of all, there is a small batch of the Office Depot colored like feral type pencils. And these have different colored ferals as you can see. There's eight different designs. And they have natural wood, um, and I sharpen these all with my Mitsubishi. I think most of these pencils I sharpen with my Mitsubishi pencil sharpener, but, um, yeah, so there's many different kinds. They all write the same, but, and then I got a box of these at, uh, Office Depot as well. These are the Ticonderoga Nyor ones and I also needed these for my collection of pencils and these are I haven't I've waited a long time to get these and I finally did get them one day and these are pretty good they're fairly dark um, it's dyed wood I'm not a big fan of that but it's you know it's fine and it has the uh, I don't know what you would call it the I don't know that little sort of pattern to it to make it look like a rainbow or something. I don't know what the pattern is called, but um, it's an HB and it has a black eraser and the usual Ticonderoga eraser. And then this one, these I tried to find at Rite Aid a couple different times and they didn't have them, but they still do make these. Um, not many people have reviewed them. They're the uh, Murado Black Warrior pencils. Um, these are pretty nice. Um, here's the small factory sharpening that it comes with. Um, and then here's the eraser. And these are pretty nice. I do use them a lot. Um, I do sharpen them up though with my Mitsubishi because this isn't does not qualify for anything. Um, but these are pretty nice pencils. I do like them a lot. So, they're in HB, and they're made by Papermate, and they're HB pencil, so, yeah. Um, they have a pink eraser. Yeah, they're pretty nice. And then next we have the Dollar Tree favorite. This one, um, is, you can get a Dollar Tree for like a 20 pack, and these are pretty nice. They're the, uh jot number two pencil so these are these are pretty nice it has like the goldish feral and yeah I do like these a lot so 
Yes. And then we have a pencil that you can get at Daiso. So this is the basic 2B pencil. Um, I got a box of these recently because I was running low. And these are also nice as well. So um, they have the thick lead. So I do like them a lot. They also have the end cap. So yeah. Um, we're just going with pencils first, then we're going to go into other, uh, things. So, next we have some mechanical pencils. These are just cheap ones. Uh, this one's from Dollar Tree, and then this one's from Bic that I used in school, I think. Um, and then we have this one, which is a Sakura Grosso Sharp, which I got at, um, at Daiso. There's the kind of lead you get. There you go. I like this one pretty good. And then we have two different Stadler mechanical pencils. Um, this one I got at Target. It's the Triplus um, Micro... I don't know exactly what this is called, but it has a 1.3 millimeter lead. And um, it has the uh, twist up eraser right there, and it looks pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's a Stadler pencil. And then this one's way thicker. Um, it's the yellow variety, and it um, it looks kind of like a Stadler Norris. Like it kind of has the same design as a Stadler Norris. So um, I don't know. It just kind of has the same design as that. And it has a 2 millimeter lead, and it has a fixed sleeve, and it has the twist-up eraser. Um, then, uh, we have... I think that's it for pencils. Yeah, this is the last one. Um, it's a beaten up Prismacolor Cole Erase. Uh, the eraser's gone off of it, so... Yeah, and now moving on to um, like pens, brush pens, regular pens, ballpoint pens, roller balls, all that kind of stuff. So starting out with this uh, roller ball, uni ball air pen. These are pretty nice, uh, just good for like good black ink if you're fine lining something. These are rough. I use these a lot. So. Um, then we have some of the, uh, uh, what are these called, the souffle pens, and I, I did a review on these a while back, um, um, not on YouTube, I did it back when I did reviews when I was little, well, smaller, littler, um, and here's a couple different ones, the pink and black, I use, those are the two that I use the most when I'm like, it's odd. I know it's odd, but um, yeah. And then here we have this is this is two different. Um, I love the uh, light green pens. So here's one from Daiso, and then here's one from Dollar Tree. So. Got those. Um, we have this. Uh, it's actually a, uh, a permanent marker, and it's erasable, so you can essentially erase it off. I'm trying to here. See, so you can erase it. I mean, that's what I did to erase it, but um, that that one's pretty cool. And then we have one that I got in a, I think like a pencil set or something like that. Um, it has a couple different pens, so I think that's pretty cool. So it has a different couple pens. And then this one is another little pen. Um, you can like push the ears down to make the pen come out. So yeah. It's nice. Then we have 
um, two pens from Dollar Tree. Um, these are the Pro Marks uh, pens uh, that you can get at Dollar Tree. And these are also pretty nice as well. Then we have just a regular dry erase marker. not I mean, this is a permanent marker. Just usual. And then a usual black pen to mark things. And then... Um, if you hear a noise in the background, that's my little brother be being a complete jerk. Um, and then we have a correction pen. These are awesome from Dollar Tree. I definitely recommend these. Um, then we have... A couple different palette knives for when I'm painting. Um, I use these often, fairly often, but yeah, I like these too. And then we have one of those graphite sticks. And then we have a pair of scissors. Um, these are just, you know, the generic brand. I'm a lefty, so it's hard to use the scissors, but you know, yes. And then we have this tool which I use to open things. Um, it, I just, I don't know, I use it to open things. It's pretty cool. So I just use it to open packages and stuff. And then we have my eraser. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Um, you can, uh, like the video, you can comment, you can share, you can subscribe, um, you can also turn on the notification bell to be inspired to collect. Anyway guys, go, go creative collectors.